How's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel for another third party review. Today we got from War Story the Mad Tyrant, the deluxe version that comes with a display base. Here is the cardboard that it comes with. It's a pity because mine came all damaged. It was well packed, but this cardboard is so thin that it's really easy to get damaged and as you can see, it's really pretty banged up. Anyway, the most important is our figure. And here it is. The display base come in a styrofoam box, separate box, so I'm not showing it here. Here you can see the figure with just a pair of hands and with a hat that it comes with. So let's take a look at the display base and the accessories. Before we go on with this review, if you want to see early reviews on third party figures, please remember to subscribe and activate the bell notification so that you will know every time a new review is up. Here is our display base with the accessories that our figure comes with. Let's take a closer look at each one. Mind you, this display base is really really huge. Here we have our tyrant head sculpt which I think looks pretty nice. It's a darker grey in some areas and a, a more light grey in other areas but I think the detail on the head sculpt looks nice. The only thing I don't like about this um, head sculpt is the connection on the back where you have your uh, compartment to place the battery that will lighten the eyes. The connection here doesn't look so good, it doesn't stay well in place and they did send the instruction with the, with the figure saying that you should use a air dryer to dry with the hot air that will connect better but then if you run out of battery how can you take out that part? I don't know how it, it will work. At this moment I'm using the hat because the hat helps to connect the hat in place. Here is the hat. The hat is very simple with some just some detail on it. It's all made of plastic. It's plain plastic. It's a bit rigid but looks nice and it helps the head to be well connected. If not, that part is always falling down. Two extra ends. The ends are huge because this figure is much bigger than a normal 1.6 scale. The belt on the ends however is molded. It's not movable. You cannot do anything with the belt. Here we got our display base which it's really really huge. It's difficult to explain on camera but it's really huge. About the detail on the um, display base I don't like so much the paint detail when you look very close, at least on this figure, this, uh, this uh, cop, it doesn't look so good. I like the effects they did on the stone and on the wall, looks nice, a bit cartoonish but looks nice, but the figure itself and the pistol, the paint application is not that good. Anyway, this is really a big um, display, I will show you, this has around 26, 27 centimeters of length, so you really need to check in which place you will put it because it's really pretty big. Here is the back part of the display base. You can see all this stone, the details they did on the stone looks pretty nice. I just, as I said before, that figure they have on the front, the details are not as good. Here is our mad tyrant just out of the box. I had a bit difficult to shoot on the light box because he is almost 50 centimeters high. Let's take a look now at his outfit. He got this coat. This uh, is not made of normal leather. This is a very, I think is pleather material is very thin. And inside you got like this Velcro uh, sweat sweater, something like that with a lot of belts. Are the belts, all the belts are removable. You can use them to remove. And then you got these pants, also like some velcro material that also have some belts on the down. And then you got these shoes that you really need to adjust well because the joint on the shoes is quite large. Then the joints on the legs is the only problem I have. They are a bit clunky. They are not as strong as they should be because the torso is very heavy and the legs tend to tend to break in when you stand him up. So you really need to find the perfect position when stand up this figure. But the joints you can completely bend them totally. I don't think with this figure you will do any crazy poses. And then that peg on the, the shoes, you really need to adjust it well. It's not that easy, but you need to adjust it well to fit on the pants. 
but overall the outfit looks nice it's not amazing but does well the job here is our mad tyrant with a display base this was the only pose i could find to fit in the light box because this is a very huge release if you are a resident evil fan i think you will be satisfied with this uh, release from war story however i must tell you honestly that i don't think that it justifies the 200 plus price tag that's all for today i will see you in the next one